Hey guys, we're back. I know we took a couple months off. We took a little hiatus. You know, uh, we took dry January to a whole nother level. So we were dry and now we're wet. You know what I'm saying. Comedy Store Podcast is back and it's exciting. I'm excited. We have Bobby Lee, Lisa Traeger. I mean, we have so many guests. We put a bunch in the can so that we know they're coming out. Also, my special is coming out March 1st and it's on the Comedy Store YouTube channel. It, I'm very excited about that. I always say channel. Is it channel? Is it YouTube page? And I'll say, the reason I say that is because Mitzi always called it the comedy channel. She wanted to start and then she did not start it. So having a Comedy Store YouTube channel feels like we're channeling Mitzi with a channel. Check it out. It's funny. It's great. I'm excited about it and I can't wait for you guys to see it. You can go to my website. I have a bunch of dates on there. I'll be at the Comedy Mothership March 8th, 9th, and 10th. I'll be at MGM Grand of Brad Garrett's. Uh, oh, I forgot the dates. 19th through the 25th. Just go to the website. You know how to do it. Don't pretend like you don't know how to use the internet. They want to come down do like a half hour because Rick has to do a spot in the yeah I'm money ro- uh, the main room. Hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm if you rolling, want. so you guys are good to go. Oh, I like that. This is yeah, you you really get the Kamikaze Comedy Store <laughs> podcast shit. Yeah. Um, this is the first we one did. we. Oh no, we did Leslie Jones with this young man, but you weren't here. Damn, I yeah, I didn't come because that's daytime shit. Rick, did you did you listen to that podcast? Absolutely not. Wow, that's I interesting. Still, um, I've never listened to it. Where am I? <laughs> that one there. Here's Rick. There you are. Don't forget to. <laughs> hey, that's mine, man. Yeah, but I feel like Hello, that's the one I, I would look best in. I'm supposed to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've never listened to a podcast. Period. Cross the board, right? Any of them. Wow. Never going to listen. The yeah. thought of hearing someone talking. Yeah. On an internet radio program is <laughs> downright outrageous. Internet to me. radio, Argus? I mean, Rick is so amazing. What channel is I, this I podcast on? <laughs> Welcome back to the Comedy Store Podcast. I'm Argus J. Hamilton, <laughs> the third. Hold on, the J. I don't ever remember. That stands for Jesus Christ. This guy fucks <laughs> I a lot. Figured that. Good to be here. Mrs. Shore coming by yeah. later today. And the great Biff Maynard is going to be here. <laughs> That's great. That's such a topical reference. That's amazing. <laughs> I think he's, he's really, he's in the, you really got your finger on the pulse, buddy. There, I, there's a lot of people thinking Biff Maynard's future is bright. <laughs> is like he alive? Biff Maynard. Uh, I believe he is. I believe he is. Wasn't he Dice's roommate? I don't know. Biff Maynard, if you're a, one of our listeners, Hit us up, man. Call the landline. Uh, what's just... his real name? Is that right? Biff? Is his name Biff Maynard? I no. I, That's I, the character. Listen, I'm literally naming Come on. headshots. <laughs> there is a headshot of someone named Biff Maynard. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I, Biff Maynard is dead. I'm sorry. He's dead. Even worse. I Biff was... Maynard is dead? That's, this is terrible. What's, um... Greg Hilbers alive. <laughs> We'll see if they listen to this. I mean, all of our fans have been anybody salivating the, for this moment. That's we're right. back together. That's right. After they want 40, us back together. It was 43 months away from the last time we did a podcast. <laughs> well, we did one with Leslie during the day, and it didn't she, count. she didn't remember. Not only were you not here, which was not good, but you, she didn't remember doing the podcast with us in the belly room. Well, I didn't remember either. <laughs> she. She came up to what? me and she said, hey, do you remember me doing your podcast? And I said, no, you wouldn't do it. And she goes, you don't remember me ever doing your podcast? And I go, no, I, you wouldn't do it because we were in the basement. And then she's like, I did do it. Eleanor said I did it upstairs. Oh, I like, like that she oh. at least believed me. Yeah, but go, you do oh, remember it was live in the belly I room. I kind of remember. Yeah, yeah. I that, like that, that you happened. both blocked it out. That's nice. But well, I remember it vivid. I could tell you every word. all those fans out there, all 450 million of you listening right now. <laughs> There's way more than when that. When we did that big show in the belly room live. That's and right. three to four people showed up that night. There was at least Crazy how five, none of you live in the greater people. Los Angeles area. <laughs> we have more listeners than the population of Russia have, at this point. We have listeners in Scotland. I'll tell you that. Scotland. Because somebody told me that they play commercials when they listen there. 
And right? they were like, you better get in on that money. I'm like, hell yeah. They so better send Scotland us a is, bagpipe or something. Send us something. The Scotland Internet Radio Channel has <laughs> Huge. big. And what are they? Come on down and get your haggis right here on the Comedy Store podcast. I mean, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Haggis? Haggis. What else I don't the know. I love people? that. I, you're right. I don't know I don't much know. about them. They literally have no culture. And that's not true. That's not fair. Tell They're, that to George Wallace or whatever his name George, was. The, <laughs> hold on. George Wallace, legendary comedian. Oh, yeah, yeah, Las yeah. Las Vegas' right. finest act, 2003 to 2018. Uh, remember I got bumped at the cellar from uh, George Wallace and Chris Rock. So yep. that was a good night. Good times. And Aziz Azari. People of color, man. Really coming up. <laughs> Cut it. Cut that clip right there. <laughs> Send snip, that one over snip, snip. to Sirius Satellite Radio. <laughs> Sirius. This is serious business. No, who was that? William Wallace. That's what I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah, William Wallace. <laughs> I said George Wallace. I'm not uh, real bright, but I, I prefer their culture, George Wallace's culture, to El the William Wallace culture, I listen, gotta be honest. Eleanor, you can't say these things anymore. Why? It's 2023. I don't know if you noticed. I've been dead for five we years. Got a brand, no one even knows I'm here. We have a brand new production squad. These guys are yes, young. They're Alex offended and Lee. by everything <laughs> that we, if they knew the things we talked about in the past. They would never agree to do this. Do we still have a disclaimer at the beginning about how? We do. And th the guy who made us uh, record that disclaimer is dead. So I don't know that we need to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't need to use it. Man, How great is, is that? Beautiful. We were here. We were on. I think it was our second or third, maybe third episode, and we had it, Sam it Tripoli early. on, and we decided to tell some stories, and we were naming some names, and uh, we got some emails with yeah. some threats of lawsuits, and they immediately gave us a disclaimer. Immediately, but I, I want everyone. <laughs> Listening to know that our opinions are on behalf of the comedy store. And 100%. that's all that matters. <laughs> it goes all the way to the top. They support us all the way through on this. Uh, they give a stamp of approval. It's right there. Comedy store podcast. That's the approval. Angel Wait. Salazar is going to be here. Shuck it out. Shuck it out. I think if we uh, could figure out a way to animate Argus Hamilton back to life. Oh, that'd be great. And we have him interview <laughs> world dictators. It's yeah. really, I think the direction Alive the show or needs dead. to go. I, that's the thing is, you know, with there's, AI, there's so many possibilities. So great, yeah. We got the great Genghis Khan here tonight. <laughs> Gonna get out there and seat his, uh, his pride. <laughs> It's like, um, was that uh, Ben Stiller movie, Night at the Museum? It's like that, but with but fucking? With like, kind of. Argus fucking, all that stuff. But like cocaine, maybe. That with cocaine. That really is the key. You think Argus will go back to in, the later, in the later years? I like, think if he gets a terminal illness of some sort, absolutely. you might as well go down hard. You know, you know, then he comes through here shrieking. I've Everybody's been building doing up my, my tolerance to fentanyl <laughs> so I can keep up with the kids. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if did when you were down here with uh, Leslie, was it this classy? Did you guys no, have no? No, no, they they, cl they cleaned it up. That's what I'm saying. And they gave us curtains. Look, we got curtains. Right? Our we got listeners plant. are absolute plant. trash, and they are never going to like this. This is exciting. What are those things up there? I'm not even sure. They're little knickknacks. They were from Mitzi's house, I think. Is that true? Uh, no, absolutely not. Guys, but... do we have any verification on what those <laughs> things are? Uh, I'll look into it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Uh, we also now, like, we look, they got books back there. Like, we read. How exciting is that? There's some kind of weird puzzle piece over there. I mean, that's it's really nice, right? They did a job. It doesn't feel right. They tried to fix it for us, and that's... Uh, well, I'll say this. In true tr comedy store tradition, yes. our guests didn't show up. And that so was my fault. Were, you were we found out that, that it was you? my fault. Because we looked into it, and it turns out Eleanor dropped the ball here. And I do take responsibility, but I also I thought they the person who texted initially mm -hmm. said we're doing a podcast at eight o'clock on Thursday, and then um, instead she just said, "Are you interested?" And then here's I'm going to give Eleanor your number. But then I immediately left with Brian to film something, mm -hmm. so I. Completely forgot. Did not look at my phone. 
Well, uh, I can only handle a few things at once. I know I have a vagina, but I'm not really good at like multitasking like most women. I should have had a penis. I lined up an uh, incredible interview. Okay. Uh, I went out into the, the hallway. I took a look around. I tried okay. to get Barry Sobel on the show wow. to finally get to the bottom Great. of these allegations. Okay. But it From turns just out, you or everybody that's I, sent in? I didn't have his phone number, so I just started calling around middle schools and asking <laughs> if they saw anyone lurking around. But so far, no reports. If you're a listener, get back to us, Bear. <laughs> Uh, Eleanor met a young Barry in the crowd uh, last night. Didn't know there were still Barrys out there, but a really? young Barry guy was 36. Okay. Uh, that is young for I a I said, you're, you're a junior? And he said, I am a junior. Wow. Course, that's the only way a 36-year-old gets the name Barry. Yeah. But a lot of dying names out there. Eleanor's one of them. Oh, no, wait. she came back, but then they call Ellie. Uh, yeah. And I'm, that's just disgusting. You don't do that. You don't like the shortened version? You, It's L or Eleanor, not Ellie. It's not a very, I don't think it is a feminine name. Do you, Eleanor? I think of it as like a English bitter. I, I mean, stick up the ass. I, I used to think of it as I like a stick in the ass. So. Someone's elderly widowed aunt, <laughs> and now I think of it as the lady with the bat. Well, I okay, that's me, and I like that. It's very but specific, but yes, yeah. yes, yes, I got it. Like I, I got I, it. I met a little. But kid. I was excited for a moment that you thought I could get married. So that was exciting. No, no you're not the old dead widow yet. All right, clip need, that. Can we clip that? Clip it, clip and it. And then that way people will think they'll stay tuned to see if you end up getting married and dying by the end of the episode. Well, I could definitely marry someone and kill them. Can we, That's a fact. Is there a way to sitcom this? <laughs> we should do a sitcom instead of a podcast. It should be a running animation underneath. I, I don't see why not. I think a lot of people are saying... We're tired of podcasts. I agree. Why don't you guys just film a full sitcom? <laughs> Mitzi would be into it. 100%. She was ahead of her time with her little short films. Maybe we I bring... I wish you could find those clips. We have them. Oh, that'd be great. You ever see those? We do could guys, roast them. Do you guys have the Ollie Joe Prater pilot? So good. Yeah. So good. What I'm thinking is we reshoot it <laughs> with word a thin for man. word. We do the whole <laughs> a very thing. thin cokehead. It'll be a shot for shot remake with me as Ollie Joe. And it, it's honestly, I don't know what he sounds like because I, I, I'm not like, going to watch the girl, clip. But, he was kind of growly like Oh, good. Uh, uh, something like that. I was just going to do, I was going to do a Bo Sevis impression. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Hank Williams yeah, that's style. That's good. That's good. That's pretty close. Oh, yeah. this is perfect then. Yeah. And then I could do Meter Maids. I'll redo that. That, that. Not the porn, the one Mitzi did, the short uh, Meter Why Maid. not both? Redo both. <laughs> I'll play Tamayo Otsuki and, uh, <laughs> is that not, racist to not say this Otsuki? Day and, age. Uh, and I'll play Lois Bromfield. We'll I get, Lois Bromfield. We can't, we can't Bromfield. do that, but we can get Bobby Lee to play Tamayo. I, I like think that's that. That's okay. That's better. That's better. Bo and I'll play Lois because she, she's a big lezzy. I love Lois. She's a big Lizzie. She knows. She I'm, means lesbian when she yeah, says. Yeah, you talk Lizzie. to Lois. She lives in Germany. She's like, I'm a Lizzie. I mean, I'm whatever that thing is. I couldn't think of the word. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. <laughs> I was gonna say Brontosaurus burger. What the fuck is wrong with my brain? I don't know. I can't wait to kill myself. Sorry, that came out wrong. Um, uh, uh, cut. We're actually, gonna, we're actually gonna pull the shit that you're talking about right now. Oh, really? Can we? You're giving Lee work, is what you're doing by cutting it like this, <laughs> like cutting in like that, right, Lee? You can just play it. I don't care. Comedy, comedy stars, Kamikaze. It don't matter. He's he's good with the directing because he could tell that you were about ready to use the N word. Go on. No way. You he could not that. tell that. <laughs> you're gonna spell it. Is that he can sense? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes. Hold on. Is a that the second. Philadelphia tingle? <laughs> I get chills up my spine. <laughs> Philadelphia Someone's about tingle. to use a slur. I love, love you slurs. Fucking go fuck. <laughs> oh, it's okay Dago. to say that. Now I'm wet, huh? Sorry. 
fine. Um, but, uh, no one wants to hang out with Rick and Eleanor. We get it. Maz is up there. He's about to Maz Jobranim. And, uh, and there's also Lisa Traeger is upstairs. Traeger's great. Um, and uh, Bobby's in the hallway. Uh, if he's uh, bored, he's tell him if he's bored. Yeah. Yep. It don't matter. I just I, I started we were, a war with some. It'd be great to see Let's these. Going. Who, Bobby? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Rick, better than my war. I'm just looking I'm just at you. I'm trying your... to get one going. Is this it? Yeah, sure. I'm like, all right. Who, Bobby? Yeah. Honey, just you take, can't be any more all right to, than me. Take your take your dick out when you ask him, and he'll be comfortable. <laughs> You know what? Because I'll tell you this, Traeger, Bobby. Are we would, still recording? Yeah. We're Thank recording. God. It, it would be good to like, uh, it would be funny to get their response on what Bobby has probably seen these. I don't know if you've seen them. Mitzi used to make me watch them. The these shows? Clips. Yeah. Oh, man. So good. I think I watched. Dominic's Pizzeria. Get it? He's Italian. I'd be like, good. okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's good. Get out the paper, the checkered paper right. tablecloth. Hear me out. We make a sitcom. It's a, Eleanor plays Mitzi. Okay. But we only showcase her worst ideas, <laughs> and we make her look like a complete asshole. So her ideas. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. She would never say that word. Here, let's do it. Wow. Oh, Bobby's so, here. So wait, wait, wait. You started a war. You're okay. Yeah, let's come on in. Wait, wait, wait. What's this I, for, war? And, yeah, yeah. and well, wait, I, I also need to clear it up because I looked. I investigated further, and it, what, what I thought do? was what, what I thought do? was multiple people hitting me up Listen, don't, was actually uh, one crazy uh, advertise person. Advertise other podcasts on here. All right, go ahead. Oh, you mean popular ones? <laughs> right. Bobby, that's it's not like true. It's like you two coming into doing something with fucking Bobby Creed. <laughs> we got, we got. Did you just uh, call me Creed? We have a baker's dozen listeners out there live <laughs> right now. Uh, Baker <laughs> dozen, you mean the porn? Is yes. that a porn? Yeah, there was like a baker's dozen porn. So like it was 12, 12 guys third, and a girl. No, I didn't see that. Oh. Yeah. Wait, it was wait, a series. What's, okay, I, I, I like oh, it's that a you series. Know. I didn't oh, watch it. I'm a, a Christian. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I get it. What's the fucking problem? Yeah, what? You started a war with him? Some Today he texts me. He gets, he goes, Oh, you want to start a war? Yeah. I'm like, what, Whitey? Well, your grandparents are fighting here. I like I mean, this. Yeah. So what, was the, what, what did I do? I, uh, someone sent me a clip, and then it, it was just you and Whitney Cummings. And, Shitting on Rick Ingram? What did we uh, say? They're, they're making fun of how I dress. Wow. And um, I, I think Bobby said, what, doesn't he have any money? And then Whitney, <laughs> she hit him with, uh, yeah, where'd he get that? The Gaza Strip. Which is both topical and Very hilarious. Very current finger on the pulse. Yeah. That's good. You know uh, her. And then I got it, another one, and then a third one sent <gasps> to me, and I'm like, whoa. And then I looked at the people, and I'm, it's all one person who just has a bunch of accounts. And yeah, and what is he lunatic. trying to start? Start a war, start a probably. War. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A war. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, um, I don't want to war with you. Is that old? Is that old? This clip? No, last week, and um, also I don't want. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Recent. I mean, and I gotta be honest. That's uh, amazing. If you're really shitting on the way Rick dresses, why? You could see you, right? Oh, really? You mean? Yeah, uh, hello. Hello. Sometimes uh, hello, you dress hello. like Pikachu. Hello. What the fuck is that? Did you make them $750 yourself? Seven hundred fifty dollars shoe. You made them yourself Golden in your Goose. house. Read Bullshit. about it. Google it. I'm good. Google it. I'm not Googling yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Anyway, let me say this. I apologize. Yeah, you right. do dress like shit. But also, secondly, <laughs> can I just say this? Secondly, too, right? Yeah. Do I dress like shit? I mean, I guess I do. I don't know. I, mean, I just wear I don't whatever know what I want. I Karen's house you steal your clothes from. Wow. But, Ooh, wow. Karen's hey. wow. I'm so Ooh. Oh, really? I am going to call Let the cops Let me say something to you, you okay? Did I not call you the day? Uh, no call back or no pickup, huh? I, I, I did call you back, and you didn't pick up. It, it was probably, How long did I wait? Uh, he only gave you like a Doc Willis window that of right? opportunity. Yeah. That's Four it. Four hours? I, I waited the tw probably 25 minutes. Oh, okay. It took me to drive <laughs> right. home. Do you know why I called? I, I don't know. Guess. You, Just you to were ask angry. him what he's wearing? You were angry about following me? I struggled up there, dude. You probably oh, crushed. shit. They probably no. crushed. Wait, you had to follow him last night? And a couple nights ago, I had to follow oh. him. His family was here. Oh, Saturday. Yeah. Great. And he, you know, he went extra special up there. 
I'm in the back going, oh. Put a little of the special sauce yeah, on. Yeah, I go, uh oh. Yeah. Hey, man, his family's here. And then I walked up and I go, you know, because you, 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 you convince yourself you can do it. Oh, yeah. you got this. You've been doing it for a long time. You know what I mean? You do that whole fucking talk. <laughs> yeah. And you go out there and you was... go, oh, I don't have it. <laughs> well, hold on. You became, you became so an immigrant. Yeah, it. when you get insecure, you turn yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I got no don't have it. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I was up there struggling, dude. Really? Oh, I my didn't God. know. Yeah. Sweating, dude. I didn't really? know your inner voice was so Asian. Yeah, dude. Dude. And now yeah. I feel worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think it's, you know, we're even. Yeah. Well, even we're, Stevens. We're even Stevens. Oh, you're even because you got to shit on him for the clothes and then God, he I got to shit on you for that. You. Why would you so touch? Much. I love uh, you so much. Do you guys think you'll ever intercourse? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fun. Dude. All right, guys. I think I you guys would like my dad's heart rate yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god. So hot. So hot. There's my so many missed, possibilities here. Yeah, 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 my dad yeah. missed so many shots over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> so many races. None of them would have hit my family. I'm not Vietnamese, lady. Whatever. What the fuck? My dad was in you Korea, fucking sucker. Shit balls. Remember the shit yeah, balls? Yeah, you're a shit ball eater. Uh, guys, please go back to episode dad... 4043 where we talked about shit balls. Do you remember yeah. my dad asked you if you were north or south? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that felt I good. He he was Korean. He goes, north or south? Yeah, it, is a, good. it is a very it important insane. question. <laughs> so, um, how are you guys? Good? We're good. We were just going to watch a clip of some sort. Oh, yeah, let me see. Can I watch or no? Sure, or should I leave? Sure. Bobby, well, you're going to love I, this. We no, got, you, a, we got you... a clip of Ollie Joe Prather. <laughs> Not wrong. Stealing jokes? Well, you're going to love it. <laughs> it's Ollie with Carlos's face. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. that bad? No, this is. You, you I never, never met Did you meet him? No, I, I never I met never Ollie Joe Prater. I There's just a lot heard of guys, legends. Fred Asparagus. Oh, I knew Freddie. Yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. I never met Fred Asparagus. He was the best. I, I met, I've never met really, well, Steve Kravitz. Is he a part of that? Or? Do you like hockey? You never met Kravitz? I did. Oh, good. I was going to say, he'll be here. Yeah, I'm I regret sure of it. it. <laughs> One of the worst when, when people. One sick, of the worst oh my people. God. Poor thing. Poor Is guy. that Caparillo? I'm going to ask him for and money. Tommy made, him, Tommy made Jesus Trejo drive him to La Jolla, work the weekend with him. No. Steve Kravitz? <laughs> and then drive him oh back. Oh, my God. Ugh. And he They're kept asking just... him for quarters for the red box. He's like, no. that's not how it works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow. It was so That's exciting. Good. Who did you okay, work with in the But do you remember Mitch? Barry Hughes? Diamond? Oh. <laughs> oh, his singing? What a singer. Dude, he'd come out in his tidy whities all barrel chest. What's that song? A Memphis song? What's I've been walking walk in, in Memphis. Memphis. And it's like. Didn't Sean Polofsky change it to He's Walking the Main Room? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, you remember these? Mitzi used to make these shorts. Okay, whatever. Way they? ahead of I never said, I never knew. Ollie Joe was the best of us. <laughs> John Wayne. Jesus this is Christ. this is from my dad. I apologize. We got there he is. There he is. Legend. Oh, good. This is still available for any <laughs> network to pick up. <laughs> Playmates are real popular. Look at that intro. Morning, Duke. Morning, Bogey. Morning, Dana. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Hi, Ollie. Hey, did you get the new sign put out? Yep. Across the street saloon. Cowboys drink free. Ooh, great. Yeah, I sure hope it works, because we need the business bad. Yeah, most people don't know a good thing when they see one. Look at me, for instance. Ten years of bunny, and I'm still single. Not even a proposal for so a good, man. That's great. The writing is so good. So good, I couldn't laugh. That's how good it was. Yeah, it felt dramatic. Was it was so funny. I, mean, I was just like, "Whoa, that's funny." She doesn't oh. need to know how to act. Just put her in the body suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, Mitzi. Was good, good go. I don't think so. Uh, I just put her in there. <laughs> okay, okay. Not oh, no comedic time. Now. Look who's in business. Yeah, but you know what we need, Ollie. What? I need to set the beautiful ex-bunny waitress and all the free booze you can drink. What, we missed some? Yeah, star appeal. We need some big celebrities to hang out here. I uh -huh. can this place up in no time at all. Oh, hell, they look at this place. We couldn't get Willie Nelson to drink. Good editing. Oh, Great sure. editing. Don't worry about the it. The writing. We Shirley and Cassie from the studio across the street. She's sending someone over today. Yeah, I mean, we got stars coming? Yeah. Well, we better get this place ready. What? Yeah. Is this a porn? <laughs> Is that Jane Lee Reese? Wow. Wow. That's it? 
I that's mean, it? That's all they can take. How, how long is no, it? I was riveted, dude. I, What's going to happen? It's a full sitcom. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. It's a full... Yep. And we could easily take over TikTok if we just put this in its full extent out there for the world to see. Wow. Uh, do you think Ollie Joe has any bastard children out there? Oh, I hope not. Man, that's but exciting. Let me ask you something about Ollie Joe Prater. Okay. Did he do anything outside of doing stand up? Did he was he in a movie? I mean, did anything happen? Know. I think this was it. Oh, no. Why does that happen? Because he was doing drugs. He was dealing drugs. Oh, that's what it he is. was doing all of that. Yeah. What was the guy that the little guy that came in the other day with you, Alan? Bursky, he didn't come in with me. Yeah, Don't do hold that, on, you hold yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. You're Bobby. Tell me, the, tell me the honest God truth. Eleanor brought Alan Bursky into well, this comedy Well, it came in like, club. you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. With a fur, fur jacket. I Eleanor. walked in with my friend. <laughs> my yeah. work. Yeah. Out. Yeah. I walked in with my video wow. guy. You know it. And his wife. <laughs> right, right, right. And then Alan worst showed up. Enemy. Yeah, yeah. Alan Bursky. That's go, your worst. Why? Bursky, if you're listening right now, you son of a bitch. This is the best thing. I don't want to hear about the price of gas in 1970. Five ever ever again. He yeah. came over. He immediately started talking. He didn't like. He just interrupted like you, kamikaze. He goes. He goes. You know what? And I was here in 1986, and I go, "How much was gas?" That's how I yeah, got him to wow, stop wow, asking wow, him wow, how wow. much Pile was gas. Yeah. Yeah. It was so brutal. What are you guys talking? Because yeah, that we're, was we're working. Loud. <laughs> Guys, we're in the middle of contenting. That's insane. What just, the fuck? That's insane. We just contented. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's fucking crazy. The, Are you producing we, now? We the air, the arrogance on the new squad over uh, here. If at I was the Tristan Bale, Bale, you'd podcast. have it right now, dude. <laughs> dude, because they cleaned up in yeah, here. They put they some plants it. in here. It looks like And, sh and good. they know what <laughs> they're doing, so... They think because they press record and have equipment that works, they're better than yeah, the other yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're big time. They're big time. Is this the flagship podcast? You it guys? was. This is it the was. one. Who's the flagship now? Uh, I guess Justin took over Probably now, Martindale. right? Martindale. Martindale. Martindale has one, yeah. We were it, but then it just... It, we got we both got busy and then it just got you know the was, other thing is is that no one's ever listened that's not other true. than the baker's dozen right now Ryan's live the in the Sarasota area is this live right now no we're not live uh, we don't even know how to do that <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing <laughs> Rick at all, has zero idea of what's going on sometimes yeah. I forget we're actually not doing morning radio. <laughs> Uh, Bobby, you're going to be here this week. You guys oh, yeah. had Let's do morning radio for Bobby. Earlier on. If you guys had the, you know what I mean? You could have grabbed everybody. Yeah. And started this thing. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Where were you guys? Where were you guys? How come you guys didn't give a shit about the Comedy Store podcast? <laughs> Who really? the fuck is that guy? Oh, <laughs> that's Lee. That's He's Lee. a nice guy. That's have Bobby Lee. Have I met Lee. you before? Yeah, we've met. Hello. Oh, good to see you. I produce Gabby Lamb's podcast. That's too. so rude. I don't know that. Gabby. I love Gabby. She's great. <laughs> I did that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I, <did that. laughs> I, don't remember. I love her, though. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. Who's this young huck? Stud. Yeah. stud. Okay. Alex. Al I know you? Uh, no, we've never met. Go what, ahead. Do, what do you do here? Uh, Whatever he wants. Yeah, I work at the production company. Great job. Good job. Good, job. Good stuff. Great. What's the name of the production company? Comedy Stores. <laughs> no. I'm not into it. We got to come up with something more creative. <laughs> Who's in charge of this? <laughs> I need a desk job is really what I'm getting down well, I gotta to. I got to go up upstairs. So um, right. good to see Bobby, you. I love thank you. Thank you. So we're good? No war? Yeah, there's no war, man. All right, I love I you, buddy. You know it, I love man. you, dude, right? Yeah, dude. But you're still mad at Whitney? Should we get dude, Whitney, Whitney down here? First and of all, you're... Whitney, ah! I, I will never, oh, come on. never <laughs> accept an apology from Whitney Cumming. Do you yeah, hear me? That's rude. Why would you <laughs> touch my hair? Bobby, she needs you to touch with both hands so it's even. Thank you, Bobby. Bye. We're going to watch more of this. That was Bobby Lee from Bobby Tiger Lee, Belly, guys. Bobby Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger Belly only on 87.8 The Buzz. And Bad Friends, which is his podcast with Bad Andrew Friends. Santino. That's why I said don't promote it. My yeah, nephew went to see uh, Bobby. <laughs> he's about marriage. He's through marriage, my nephew. So uh -huh. I, I say he's my nephew, but he married my niece. So right. would he become my nephew? No, he's okay. he's literally street trash of no okay, relation I like to you. Where you're, I like, so he asked, he went to see Bobby, yeah. and I, uh, he loves bad friends. That's okay. his favorite. So I said, all right, I'll see if they'll let you backstage. He, he and his buddies already bought tickets. So I, he goes to a lot of comedy shows. I text Bobby or Santino or one of them, and they're like, yeah, yeah, bring him back. Bobby's like, oh, I can't wait to meet your nephew. Like, he's ready to beat him up. And Will shows up, and he's got neck tattoos, and they're like, oh, we knew he was trash. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. and he's the most respectful, nice, 
guy. What's with the tattoos then, Eleanor? He's filled with tattoos. Tattoo people are bad news. No. And if you're a you listener like my mother. and you're on the fence with this kind of thing, you go, you know what? Maybe they're just artistic. They're bad news and they're into Satan. <laughs> That's not true. Tattoo no. people are always into Satan. <laughs> Well, they're, he's going to go see them again in Atlantic City. That's how much he liked it. Dang. Yeah. So it's Bobby and Andrew, and then I believe they do a podcast at the end. Why don't uh, Why don't we do a national so if tour? We, we could have if why we kept How come we're not this? doing a national theater tour Lee, for this come podcast? On. Well, I'll pitch it. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate we'll it. it going. I appreciate that, man. Three Ollie Joe Prater clips away. I, I like I, that. Well, if we I, get I, some I, Hollywood stars see, yeah, in here. Never, I cannot believe this. This is so good. Um, and just, so, wait a minute. That says it's an hour. That's This one has all the... Everybody. Presentation. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember. I think is I watched Argus's it. Is Argus' talk I, show in here? Yeah. No, it should be uh, Bugsy. Um, I, this is a, 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 a Across the Street wow. Saloon. Yeah. yeah. Bugsy, Meter Maids. The non-porn. Wise guys? No, wait, Bugsy was uh, Thanksgiving. There's a Thanksgiving one? That's perfect for right but, uh, now. Uh, Bugsy, Why are we watching? Bugsy is Dom Irera and Dice. And Dice is wearing like a zoot suit, right? What Whatever year is this? Early 80s. Okay, so this is pre-Dice Dice. This is, Dice. She still has control of them. Yeah. yeah. This is, you know, he moved out in 79. So this could be, you know, it took him 10 years to make it, 84, 85, whatever. Yeah. So he he's wearing like that pinstripe suit and underneath he has a shirt that says Dice. And it's supposed to be like in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, it makes sense. I mean, perfect. A lot of people wore print you t-shirts can't wear in the forties. To, they're totally Just fighting over this. It's so funny. They fought terribly. That's dumb. Hey, Andrew, what's the matter? You haven't said a word the whole trip. The comedy store at the dunes. Got yeah. some problems. I'm thinking I got some problems. Is that Harry Basil? No. There we are. What problems? I mean, we're playing Vegas. That's Janice Hart. I mean, look, your name and lights. Come on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Andrew Dice Clay. I know. I know all about the lights, but I don't know. I don't feel right. I feel like something's missing. Yeah. That's like a brain. Shut up. Hey, Charlie. Shut up. Charlie okay. Laborte. Yeah. Look. Shut oh, wait, up. Why? I don't remember I this in Bugsy. It is. He has this whole uh, storyline, like his like great grandfather oh, or something. Oh, right, right, right. That's like, it. Started oh, I the know. Club, now I know. Yeah, was yeah. Bugsy's, was Bugsy's best friend. Yeah, it's been like 30 years since I've seen this. 20 years. It's whatever. It feels forever. Just as good as the day we made it. I know. Janice uh, looks great, by the way. She's so cute. Hilarious. Like, why would Look Dice be this. hanging out with these two? This they all worked at the comedy is store. great. I like it. I like Get him. People are losing their shabets. He loves it. <laughs> Best dice. What an asshole. Look at them carrying his bed. That was to me on the road with Andrew. <laughs> that guy is not That's happy. That's Danny Stone. He is very <laughs> flustered with the boyfriend. hand he got. Yeah. This is Mitzi's boyfriend hey, at the time. Fuck. Go get yourself something. Maybe oh. some eggs, maybe a for cigarette. Get out of here. Hey, you're a nice guy, you know? <laughs> He only does Rodney. He doesn't know how to do anything else. Oh, look at Tom! Like you make a good breakfast. You know that, honey? Maybe if you're lucky, I'll stay all The night. acting, you know, Eleanor. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, 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 come here. Come here. I want to show you. I want to show you something. Come here. That's Trini, May his ex-wife. Frank, with you? May I be honest with you? Yeah. This, this is Bugsy Siegel. The man who started in Las Vegas. Yay. He was my best <laughs> friend. Yay. Yeah, that's yeah. good. He was also your grandfather. That's the right. Quiver. I forgot. Your grandfather. 
Yeah, your grandfather. This Great picture of Dom. So good. My life. Let's go already. Janice Hart with, with the character. Oh, yeah, it's hot, honey. It's hot. Are you kidding me? When Benjamin Siegel gets done, Las Vegas, Nevada will be a household word. <laughs> Take a look around. <laughs> will be a household this is word. I'm done. A moment that will go down in the hearts of it's millions amazing. for years to come. It'll be a household word. So why don't you do me word. a favor? Huh? Shut your yap. <laughs> oh, Bugsy, wait, you're crazy. I mean, there ain't nothing out you're here but You're crazy. You Just the classic no damsel. This is great. Come on, First Bugsy. Class. Got no imagination. I'm the biggest. She's Laugh Girl from Morning Radio. Tell us a funny <laughs> story, Bugsy. <laughs> swimming pools with floating Sorry, I'm Laugh Girl. Games. And best of all, I am going to have a showroom with the best, Ugh. the biggest class entertainers in all the world. We're talking singers. Oh, fascinating rhythm. You got me on the go. Oh, fascinating rhythm. I'm all the Oh, Jesus Christ. And more important than Sexism, that, racism, it's all in there. He nunchucked her silent, finally. That's amazing. We figured out how to get a woman how to be quiet. How do you quiet. shut her up? Little nunchuck action. It was the 80s. That's so Jesus fucking... Jesus, God. So we need to redo this? All of them. Can I you, think we should. Are you guys in charge of re Casting? Yeah, yeah. Do we need to loop Peter in, or should we just do it? I, I don't better know. Better to ask for I think it's better to surprise Peter. Yeah. Peter likes surprises. You know what we should do? We should get Scotty involved. Oh, yes. And then that way we could maybe release them all for Peter's birthday. It's like oh. a big surprise thing. We'll I have like Polly rent a room Yay. out at Flappers. <laughs> And then we'll do a thing at Flappers for Peter's birthday. Or maybe we just put it on the YouTube. But in a to twist, surprise them. We actually get dice to play the dice. There character. you go. And Andrew would be thrilled to, to relive the Bugsy You're fist fights that the he had. Bugsy. <laughs> Bugsala. Bugsala. What is that? Oh. Look at. I got something oh. to tell you. Oh. Let's go check it out. Come on, move, move. Come on. Why are they walking like that, Eleanor? It doesn't make sense. I don't know, but who do you think we could cast as the dancing boys? Jimmy and Joey. We bring out the original I mean Jimmy. We get the original one. We we reunite the brothers for the first time in fifteen years. Ah. Haven't spoken to each other. No witnesses. No witnesses. I s I don't see why not. Janice unfortunately we, has passed. We get Lara Bites to play. <laughs> Stay here. With pleasure. Poof. I am Bambi. Bambi Diamond. What the fuck? Great look at his pants. Look how cinematography is phenomenal. Oh, there's Dom. <laughs> Was he just cuddling some rocks? I think he was. <laughs> Water. <coughs> bourbon. I got scotch. No oh, bourbon? Take what you could get. Oh, Take what you could get. <laughs> Repeat the line twice. Smooth. Good delivery. Delicate yet robust bouquet. <coughs> what are you doing out here? You're no Vito he, Bonomo. He's a aficionado of the alcohol. That's a great shot. What was the other clip you were going to play? <laughs> it was a stand-up clip. That's right. That's funny. I mean, this is great, but I think uh, we we get the we get the idea. It's really good. I, it's been so long. I completely forgot. Look, <laughs> he's got a nickname. I read Denny's is uh, going to be bringing back the birthday meal. You know the birthday deal. <clears throat> For those who don't know, if it's your birthday, they treat you a free meal. Unfortunately, they would treat you to this meal at Denny's. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that son of a bitch. 
think about it, you gotta be in pretty sad shape. So you go to Denny's on your birthday. This gotta be the lowest point of your life. Oh damn, the gun jam. <laughs> <laughs> no neck middleman. I got a Denny's. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Where the hell I bought my birth certificate? What's it like walking in there? Is that humiliating you? Hi. It's my birthday. Are you going to sing to me? <laughs> Remember me from last oh. year? Is that me? Is that a young me watching middle? That's Rick. Look at this cigarette. She's smoking a cigarette. It's great. What does it say about your friends? Hey, it's your birthday. Why is there an extreme close-up on this guy? So scary. You didn't do this? This seemed like something Lee did. This is like out of the crowd creeper, Lee. Sorry, I mean. This is out of the. Uh, now we're talking. Zoom in. Right, zoom in. A little closer. Look. I can't even. Listen to what he's saying. I'm. It's like she knows she's being filmed by a creepy yeah. cameraman. Listen, if this is you at home, uh, and you feel that. Your likeness was not a, a, obtained appropriately. <laughs> Contact Argus Hamilton. That's A R. At Midnight Jogger <laughs> at Hotmail. That's H O T M A L E dot com. <laughs> Sweater vest, high socks. Okay. By the way, that was like. Before TikTok, that is a that is out of the Matt Rife book of how to get famous on TikTok. Yeah. Zoom in on the fucking audience, yeah, and then do your shit, stitch, whatever shit. What's interesting is a lot of the modern comedians who are out there destroying humanity with content. Yes, I'm with you. I'm one of them. They have a tendency to focus on people they're talking to. Yeah, in the crowd. What I liked about this is. <laughs> Was that he was telling a structured joke, and what we got to see was, was a close-up of horrified people, a drunk guy who seemed like he knew where he was, kind mm. of. Yeah, yeah. And then a girl who a hundred percent was kidnapped. Sure. Possibly sure. the last night anyone ever saw that woman yeah. was She's this clip. Yeah, she's on a milk carton from the eighties. And 80s. if it wasn't Middleman, it was someone else lurking. Steve, in the building. you got some explaining to do. Maybe we could uh, turn this into a true crime podcast. They're, should, they're popular. We should have Steve Middleman on and see if what he if ever dated did, that woman. What if we tried to do a forensic files thing okay. where we bring up I'm every listening. possible sexual assault that happened at the comedy store, <laughs> 75. Dude, we don't have enough time in the universe to get through that. We could get to 1,000 episodes in under a year. Easily. Easily. <laughs> If you have if contact with on, Dave Taylor, uh, <laughs> if we just focused on one manager yeah, and one comic, we, we could, could do, do a whole thousand easily. Will Sorry, we get, will we get more? Allegedly, clicks? allegedly. Will the people at MySpace Comedy be into <laughs> this? Let's get Jordy Fox on the horn, huh? Yeah, call up Jordy. <laughs> tell him we've got something that Tom's going to want to take a look at. <laughs> And just let them know where we're at. We've had Jordy Fox on the podcast. He'll do us a favor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a regular. We're also, we're going to be doing a live show down at Dublin's. Yes. That's here bring that back. sunny Los Angeles. We got fish tacos for everybody. Whatever happened to Dublin's? What, what's that building now? Great question. Is, is that uh, like offices? Did I do a podcast in there? I think I did. Like Ari... Uh, Manus? Yes. The creep. just went right out of my... I don't... I like Ari Manus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he is like a creep him? who made my Ari niece a lesbian. Ari the creep Manus. Uh-huh. Remember he kissed my niece and then she came out of the closet? Anyway. She, um, Real alpha beta, that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. He really knows how to get him out of the closet. Uh, anyway, she... It's, so, yeah, he has Ari, a, if you're a listener, just Ari's know, a listener. You think he, he used listens? to be a producer. He was, he was one of the first producers we had. <laughs> he finally got it going, and then they let him go. <laughs> he would... 
Immediately. He, you know how this place works. He literally works. built the studio. You guys are on your chopping block. <laughs> and then, but then sometimes you'd say things like, hey, I can't release the episode because we didn't record it. <laughs> that it was, happened to Judy Gold. It was more than a little frustrating. What do you mean? Did you someone lose it no no we just never actually recorded it or my favorite was we were sharing a what's that called uh, sim card yes thank you but that's not the right word but uh, yes but like the little plug-in U usb thing oh like an aux cord something like that but the little so you oh. put it on this little file oh, is it a drive. sim flash drive flash, whatever yeah, flash yeah. Drive. so we were all sharing it and sam tripley uh Rick was recording with us at the same time his own podcast so he did his we did ours and he needed to take the thing and all our stuff that was on there Don Barris Brian Holtzman we did all this fun silly stuff on there we had this unbelievable episode it. where Brian Holtzman barked like a dog for no, a majority no, no, no. he did that in a lot of them he did that he came back and redid it oh good <laughs> We didn't lose it then. Let out, Sparky. What was the dog's name? <laughs> and what was the dog? We tried to get an explanation. He was like, well, it's the radio. So they're going to think there's a dog there. I'm like, I don't. I go, but we have cameras. Yeah, and they he's can like, see. Oh, still, well. they have an imagination. And I'm like, okay, but they can see there's in the corner, there's no dog. What was the dog's name? Sparky? I forget. But yeah, we've had, but we lost that. And so we lost like five episodes. What? That we have, yeah. It's, it's, I'm telling you, you guys, if you push they don't record, play, they don't paint this place black for nothing. It's a black cloud, it's amazing. <laughs> if you push record every week, you'll do better than everyone else. I, I'm, are we I'm recording sure. right now? I think so. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there was one time we were 80%. doing. I think it was like our first or second one we did together. I remember like we had all Ari's uh, story, Ari Shafir storytelling people. So it was like mm. Burt Kreischer and Doug Stanhope. And then Doug was inviting randos down. Yeah. And I, you and me and Burt were sitting on one side and they were sitting on the other side. And I, at one point I was like, I don't, Ari didn't show up. So I was in charge of it. So they were like, just hit this button. Ari made me a little video. So I said to Burt like midway through, I go, I think it's recorded. Recording, and he just fell out laughing because he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, there's no one in charge right now. Like me. And then Rick was like, this is too much. And he I left. Laughed. And I just left in the middle. It was, there, it was chaotic. There was like a, there was a 10 minute period of time in my podcast. Yes, that's where right. I, I didn't even have we a microphone. We lost control completely. We they, lost control of it. They had taken the microphone away, and then Eleanor <laughs> and I were sharing a microphone. Yeah, exactly. And it was like Rogan, it and was Stanhope, and Burt Kreischer. And so then, we had giant guests, but we they. And we then did. Mitch Hedberg's widow kept <laughs> oh, saying yeah. the N word. <laughs> And Shocker at that point, I was like, yeah. Shocker on list. Yeah. It, so good. <laughs> and then she kept saying that Mitch would never say it, but, <laughs> but she just kept saying it. And Stanhope was dying. Yeah. And Stanhope was kept, and he was like, what? Why? Why? <laughs> Who is the other guy that I like? He's a, a, from Philly. Uh, Brendan. Uh, Brendan? Brendan Walsh. Brendan Walsh. Yeah, he was um, he was on as well, even though we kept me and Rick kept telling him he's not supposed to be because he's not You're a not paid, paid regular. regular. <laughs> So mad at us. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, so we had some good guests. Oh, for real? Oh, okay. I'll do a couple minutes with her. Yeah, Rick, my... Say. What uh, did you... Um, what time are you... Are they on time? I don't know. I'm up in nine minutes, so... so yeah, so my... I could sit with her for a couple minutes and we can close it out. I She's can... a Soviet. We should preface that so people wow, know. Wow, They're aware so... where she stands on the whole Cold War. Okay, I like what you're saying. Uh, I... Lee? Yeah. Are you Southern? No. Whoa. So Lee is not a reference to any sort of Civil War generals? Like General Lee? Unfortunately not. I mean, it can be. If you want it. But. No, no, we're good. Yeah. But what, uh, I'm mostly where are you from? free state on things. I'm from New England. Boston. Oh, sorry. That's pretty north. Yeah. That's the other way. Educated racism. That's it's a whole different thing. <laughs> Would you consider Philadelphia educated racism? Because that is not. north, but Absolutely it's definitely not. the other way. Yeah. Educated is where you lose me on Philadelphia. By the way, speaking of racism in Philadelphia, one of my best friends yesterday was texting me 
And just random thoughts. He does this to me constantly. So he Is goes. Is this Rocco? No, his name's Anthony. Anthony. Okay. Anthony. If I'm home, Anthony. If I'm talking to you, Anthony. Yeah. Um, so Anthony texts me and he goes, if you had to do it all over again, would you pick Irish? <laughs> Why? He's got a good point. I mean, that was so random. Like, yeah, but at the same time, if it was a choice. <laughs> And you could get rid of all your Irish blood. You would he, do it, right? FYI, he's Italian, so it's a continuous hatred. For hi, uh, well, look well, at this well. gorgeous young man. Yeah, you young just walk woman. in, grab a seat here. I love these we're gonna interrogate you. Look at all these colors. Yeah, we're just down here goofing around. So I'm we're so thrilled to be a part of this. So you've done it with us, never. Already. What? I'm never. Pretty sure. I've never been down here with the both of you. I'm so upset. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we uh, had Bobby Lee down for a few minutes. We, yeah. um, we're mostly we were... a political thing. I hope that's okay. <laughs> he Honestly, already introduced you as a Soviet, so that's uncomfortable. I, yeah, you really went after Soviets last night. So yeah. I'm trying to go after, right after. <laughs> as many nights as possible. Wait yeah. a minute. He did it and brought you up? <laughs> yeah. Well, I will say I this. I had to be like, bad news, guys. I am one of them. It was unintentional. <laughs> yeah, it was just fun. Uh, my but it disgust out. for... The people of Russia yeah. had nothing to do with bringing her up. But you love the 80s villains. That's your thing. I talked about that very thing. I yeah. think it's great that Russians are back being the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. Know, I think North good. Korea still is the worst. That's I don't even. There. I don't even consider them. You know what I mean? I'm right. talking about worthy Koreans as a whole, or yeah. just Koreans want, as a whole. I want whole? someone who can compete with America in the Olympics Got and it. in the nuclear arms race. And Russia will do it. Yeah, yeah Russia's they're out up there. there. They're out they there love to be there. miserable and push their bodies to the maximum. Putin Ooh. is probably... I did not know that. I don't know if you're a listener, Vlad, but Putin is probably <laughs> the strongest man alive. No, man. but I did hear, um, confirmed from porn stars, that he loves American porn. Ooh. And that he flies porn stars over and fucks them in front of seven security guards. Damn. So I heard Someone that just got cooler. <laughs> Way to go, Vlad, the destroyer. I can't believe you turned Rick that fast back to a lover <laughs> of the an, Soviet. I'm anti-Russia, pro-Putin. <laughs> poots. I call him Poots. You're like okay. my dad. He's just... He, he listen, likes Poots? He's my a strong dad loves leader. A, like, he'll defend Stalin, and I'm like, wasn't your life bad because of it? But okay. Really? He's, oh, he's you mean fucked. when the Soviet Union was on top of the fucking world? Yeah. Joseph Stalin, if you're listening, great, <laughs> great shit you did out there. He Wait, was, I don't he want to talk about hard. anything but Trav Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. I'm sorry, Can what we get back there? I watched the Kelsey documentary. Well, first of all, excellent documentary, but that is quite the segue. I know, it's just Joseph all I want to talk about. I just interrupted true? it. But I, I'm a I'm a diehard Chiefs He's fan. He's a Chiefs and fan. I and I pray is, every day that their relationship ends. I was going to say he's tragedy. doing he's playing better when she's there. Yeah, but we have to hear about her being there. Yeah, it's, it's not necessary. But what about yeah? But we like it. What we about like romance. all the new fans you got? I actually watch. We don't need. Look at that. We don't need. I watched the Chiefs Eagles Super Bowl whenever that was on with like Last I'm year. sorry, yeah, yeah, with um a bunch of Chiefs fans. I would have, you know, yeah, good. I got it. She goes whenever that was on. But yeah. brother yeah. versus brother is cool. It's it always is. fun. It, it is. is cool. I just love the romance. We had coaches, and brothers that way. We just a lot of brothers. Life. We had brothers in baseball playing against each Not other. Not in a World Series or in a World Series. It was, uh, was it? No, no, it was the championship, right? Wasn't I'm it sorry. The brother versus brother, a pregnant yeah. wife is, it's cinematic. Listen, the it's side the, stories are unnecessary in all sports. We don't need any of them. We just need. Oh, but that's. But don't you love a sports documentary, or you just want the game? Like I like the. I like the oh, story. Well, I think they're I like two a different sports things. Documentary, sure. I think if you want to watch a story about an athlete's life, then you could do that. Sure. But if you want to watch sports, I don't, like if I'm watching ESPN and they start showing me some story about Special Olympics or something. <laughs> Change Rick. the channel. Inappropriate, Rick. That's the documentary. Clip that. They do. Clip that. Clip he's, that got me, up, me he's got me racist. Thank you. Sorry. I support Sorry, Ark. Alex. Ark is my favorite charity. But like I like. Uh, I watch the thirty for thirties. Yeah. But if I like, if I'm watching the. Um, like say a Chiefs game, yeah. Chiefs Eagles, right? I, I'll, I, if they start showing Taylor Swift in the booth, I'm gonna fucking lose it because I, I want to watch the game. But I, I, thank you. Are they really taking away from the game, or is it just the time? Sometimes when it's a timeout and stuff. What are there no timeouts? It doesn't matter if there's a time. It's just to stay on the game, focus on the thing. You know what I mean? Like there should I just never be I don't a shot like side of anyone shows. in a booth. 
Right. Really? I don't even like when they scam through the audience, like at that basketball game I or whatever. Own, the only clip I want to see is little kid crying at the end of the game when his team loses. That's the crowd shot that we all need. <laughs> Just that kid, oh, this is my favorite team. Is that lose. happen? I've never seen that. They do it every single championship. I like it's when amazing. Like, I rarely even watch halftime shows during the Super there Bowl. Was, there was rarely. little boys from Philadelphia Tears falling down oh, their this face is a last Phillies year thing. In, the, in the Super Bowl. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. But the Phillies too. Oh yeah, because we ruined lost. it again. Anyway, <sighs> sad children always brings me joy. Uh no, I like. Um, I just. Do I you love one. Taylor Swift's music though? No, I've I'm like truly been a mark like the PR. Like I feel like that movie Josie oh. and the Pussycats. Like my brain has been taken over, and it's just like. I keep watching the same few clips of them at, at a con over and over and over. That's I keep watching so the same funny. clips of New Heights pop over and over. Like, I've been caught. I feel like I'm in a web of pop culture that I can't escape. When you watched the Kelsey doc, did you... I cried within the few, first few minutes. First of all, same. Second of all, which brother did you pick that you liked more? I love both the brothers. Da, it's really ah, hard. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I don't even know what we're There's talking about right now. Jason Kelsey versus Travis Kelsey. In what? Se sexually? Uh, just as a people. Who fucks who? As people. Uh, Did you watch the Kelsey doc? Jason Kelsey probably would fuck Travis if that's what we're talking about. Okay. But which one you think is cooler? You well, know Jason's Who would you cooler. hang out? Thank you. But. Just say, just say it. I know, but the Travis fact Travis is a douche. I don't think he's a douche. He's a nice person, probably, but he, the way he dresses and he buys into all this bullshit. Jason Kelsey, every time he was on a shot, he had like an Eagles shirt on. J J Travis was like a, a basketball player. He's a real man. Charles Barkley would have roasted him a the whole time. Metrosexual. Yeah, I watched a clip today of Charles Barkley go um, talking Good. about domestic violence, and I really appreciated that. Really? Yeah, I did. Was he hitting somebody while he was talking? <laughs> no, but you Charles know. Barkley, if you're a listener, Charles, Charles, <laughs> Charles in charge. I love Charles Barkley. Can't go I wrong. I love with the, that. any player that was in Space Jam is a player I love for life. <sighs> I never saw it. Me either. Oh, Space Jam is the best. You really? Got, I actually got a Tweety tattoo no, today. No, no. <laughs> All right. Um. Tremendous. Oh, my God. Wait, it's so bright. Is it's Lily really bloody. Um, oh, it's bloody. It's don't bloody. don't pull it out. I, I wanted terrible. it here, but it didn't fit without touching. And okay. So I am embarrassed that it's up here, but it is but, what it but is. I like the fade of them. Like or whatever the like my looks, dry skin yeah 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 is that what it is <laughs> yeah I, if I get some lotion I can really no 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 them but up. that one looks really bright tweety. yeah it's fresh it's fresh okay yeah it's really fresh oh I'm scared I can't even up. get my teeth cleaned and you guys are just coloring yourself in look what you did you walked right because you can't even see. No. <laughs> because we talked about this earlier tattoo people oh shit that's worship right. the devil. And if you're into Rick. tattoos, you're into Satan. And you know, you're you're someone that's so cynical. I want to know what you're sincere about. Nothing. I try. I try to mock everything. And he has that children. Deserves to be mocked. I know, but what do you like? What do you? What are the things that you see and you go? That warms my heart. I love that. I'm getting behind. <laughs> you're it. talking about the Grinch. Old you know, people. But I want to know. But there's got to be something. The Grinch gets like, what is it? Old oh, yeah. people who are miserable are the best. Aww. I love that. If I could see like, but is it, your wife kind of <laughs> cynical as well, or is she she's like a little Israeli. sunshine? Yeah, I mean, she's she's dark. She's a dark person. <laughs> she's very dark. She's great. My my general rule for a relationship is the moment you tell me I that things aren't as bad as I say they are, <laughs> the relationship is over. Come on. If you you need to be more positive. It was nice dating you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're never going to. But she likes your Grinch vibes. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the caring nurturer in our family. Okay. Yeah. So that so, says a lot, right? Yeah. Like, if we saw you with your kids, would we be, would it be a different personality and man that we see? I mean, I would, I would curse 40% as much. Yeah. Okay. But I still curse a lot in front of them because. It's hard not to. Who cares? Yeah. They're going to learn curse. I think you should curse in front of your kids. Really? 
Yeah, and pretend it's not a big deal. Like whatever. How about, uh, uh, cursing in front of them, yes, I get, but cursing at them. You what know, do you I wouldn't be. I'm a just part asking of that. a question. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it, and it makes me uncomfortable. Uh, wait, I'm opening my legs. There's no um, cursing. We do have an under table cam. I hope that's not a problem for anybody. <laughs> I, I wanted to, to see that table tweety club. bird. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one bloody? <laughs> All right, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. We walked Rick. These tattoo people. No, he's got to go on Satan. in the main. Wait, but you guys got to see Space Jam. Okay, so that I I'm really never saw. Uh, I mean, is, it's Michael why? Jordan. Where's he right? going? Is He's got to go on. Oh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. why the body people yeah, yeah, are running yeah, yeah, in yeah, and yeah. out. And then wait, that's fucking cool. We were gonna wrap it up, but, but they I said you were coming down. down, so I was like, I'll stay down a little longer. I'm thrilled. We were watching old uh, comedy store clips because the owner Mitzi Shore used to do these little shorts, and then she tried to sell them as pilot like shows, and but she would film it like ahead of her time, like almost like what they do on TikTok, but like. Like, would you say a little bit longer, right? Like full presentations. Full presentations, yeah. So it wasn't like short shorts, but when you got here in the late 70s, early 80s, she made you join um, an improv troupe that was in the main room every Monday night. You had to be a part of an improv troupe. If Why? you were because she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, God love her. But she it was a thing. She thought it was a good way to, you know, she's on your wrong, craft. But, your craft. Yeah. And so they would do sketches. They would do, yeah, go ahead. They would do um all kinds of stuff. They all had different names, bizarro names. And then she would pick who she liked the most and she would put them in these little shorts. I'm sorry. I'm are yes. You just catching her up on what happened on the show earlier. <laughs> yeah. You have a problem with that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to explain what we were doing down here, and that we have been down here for quite some time, so she don't feel like Rick ran out on her because she has a tattoo, <laughs> or she's a Soviet. Whatever. There was a lot of things he said. That reminded <laughs> just... me. I had an old uncle Boris, and he during my sister's so wedding. So great that you had a real uncle Boris. <laughs> He had no respect. Oh, that's tremendous. And so he went into the hoopah and like in between them to take photos, <laughs> like would knock the professional out, be by the rabbi, like just was like in the thing. Like he's in the video, just in our way during the ceremony. So, oh my God, that's great. Yeah. Boris. Yeah. I, I love that name. Yeah, he was wild. I mean, my family's just so elderly that everyone was so kooky by the time I met, like realized them. They're, wait, wait. Your family's like my elderly? dad's 85 and he was the youngest, so it's like there's oh, just been you know, and they had kids old. late. Like my first cousins are all in their 50s. Oh, did they have kids late? Your yeah. parents, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, good yeah. for them, but they yeah. weighed it, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a, I have, I have older, I have an older sister, okay, 10 years older, 10 years older. Oh, so you're an oops baby. No, I think I was wanted and needed, and I I give their life zest that they wouldn't have. I like, love... what would they be doing for these decades? You're right. Me? How bored would they be? Right? They just yeah. they're old school. They want to live for their kids, and I'm the kid they live for. Are you gonna have kids? You know, I'm not. Oh, good girl. I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. I don't think I realized that. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I never know. People change their minds. I'm I'm a not a mind change person. I'm not either. It's oh, good. It's just not the lifestyle for me. It's just not. I declared it in third grade. <sighs> I told my family. And they were fine with it? No, of course not. But I think they've like chilled out. They don't like a lot of the things I do, but they've accepted <laughs> me for who I am. Have they watched you perform? Yeah, I don't really like them around. During shows. It just me, it's, yeah, it no, gives no, me I a pressure that I don't really need. Agreed. Like, Agreed. Me, I'm, I need to live my life. I can't be focused on them. And when they were there on a big night, I kind of, it was too much. It makes me happy that my mom don't come anymore to my shows. It used to make me real uncomfortable. And she would like comment, like maybe if you did it this way. Oh. <laughs> Why not do this? Um, <laughs> well, and my parents aren't vaxxed, so they'll never go see me ever again, I don't think. They're not vax? Oh, yeah. vaccinated. Yeah, but they do believe in it, so they just don't go out into things. <laughs> this is great. It's a it's wild Venn diagram. Coming. They know it's they know it COVID's is a Venn real, diagram. I like it. But they're not getting vaxxed. <laughs> okay. My mom got uh, the whatever. I think she got up to maybe a booster. Oh, no, maybe she just got the two shots and then that was it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, she didn't do any more. I'm proud of her. Yeah, me too. No, but let's talk about this Kelsey doc now that okay. the Grinch is gone. But I, yeah. So I love the Kelsey doc. I thought it was really done done really well. I think Kelsey's going to retire this year. Jason, I'm sorry. Yeah, he has to, um, right? Kind of. 
kind of, but it is a beautiful story. The brother, brotherly love, how he like, you know, helped his brother. Of course, he had to help Travis because Travis is a problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, I do that other podcast called What's Up, Doc? So we watch documentaries and we review them. I want to be on it. I would love to have you on it. Yeah, love... let's do some dark shit. We I'm did... going to ruin your day. I'm going to pick oh, the saddest God. fucking doc Please. for you. Please. Yeah. It, I, I watch all the worst ones. The Keepers, I think, was the worst. That I was a doc it. series. But I would say that was one of the darkest. And I'm Catholic. That was a tough one. Yeah. Because no one, like my grandma, if I said, you know, a, a priest walked by and I didn't say hi to him, I would get in a lot of trouble. Like they held them in such high regard. It's That's a why big problem on earth. 100% when somebody goes, like I made my, we made my mom watch Keepers. She won't remember it now, but she did. And she, and she hated it. Like she was, it, it made her nauseous because she was like, this is real. Like this happened to people. Yeah. And God forbid, what if, because if somebody said that to her, one of her kids said about a priest or a, a nun or anything, she would, they're in, held in such high regard. She would, she wouldn't believe you. Right. She said, I probably would be on that side of not believing. But now she's older and she can like, like feel it, like be like, I yeah. should have done that kind of thing. Or I would, even though that luckily that never happened. They don't, they no, don't it's like, like when people are like, we're shocked. We couldn't believe it. I'm like, really? Are it's you? always minister. It's always the, it's like the Jared from, it's always that guy. Yeah. That's the whole point. They do a front. So no one suspects them. Mm -hmm. So the darkness is hidden. Yeah. But people always act surprised. And I'm like, how many more times does this need to happen until you're not surprised anymore? <laughs> There's a, uh, Metzger has this joke, Kurt Metzger uh, has this joke about Mr. Rogers. And he's like, I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole doc. You're not going to believe this. He didn't touch any of those kids. It's <laughs> so funny because it's real. The whole time I'm watching, I'm like, all right, where do we get to the part where it's fucked up? And I was waiting. And we just did his um, Won't You Be My Neighbor, which is also excellent. But that guy was just a really nice person. Yeah, one in a million. Only thing, only thing I think he was hiding is that he may or may not have wanted to be gay. Yeah. But society told him to have kids and, you know, get married. And that's it. That's the only thing. Yeah. But he wanted kids to be loved, and that was beautiful. Yeah. He was I was great. looking for the dark. I was with Kurt Metzger. I was definitely. No, but sometimes they try. Like, I watched the Amber Crombie one, and they wanted the darkness so bad. And it's like, we kind of knew this in high school. This isn't. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they kept the non-white kids in the back. Like, we know that. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> like, we, we got it. That was old news. Um, <laughs> You had to be really thin to work there. Like, I get it. But. That's so funny. They, like, wanted it I to be that. dark. There was, of course, a photographer molesting, but it was, like, such a minor part of it. They just wanted it to be darker than it was. <laughs> <laughs> so the molesting is minor. Keeping yeah, the the molesting is like alluded to in minor, but it's like... Keeping the non-whites yeah. in the back is a problem. Or, I mean, more than the molesting. I'm not sure what's darker, which is worse. I don't think they had enough darkness, and so they had to touch on everything a little bit, but it oh, which wasn't enough. Like, got it. I think right now the trend is like, I'm going to make the darkest documentary ever, and sometimes that just doesn't happen, but you see that they're trying so hard to make yeah. it happen. What's that That one, um, something about Amy, like she was, the, the hospital basically kidnapped her. Wow. Um, oh, it's so good. And the, by the way, she just won the case, and I, I'm going to mess it up. Is it? It's on Netflix and it's like... Some... Wait, is it the people that won a ton of money recently? Yes. Like $200 million? Yes. 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 Wow. So her doc, she was a kid. Um, her mom was um, an immigrant and uh, they moved here. She got sick. She uh, she kept having... I think her name was Amy. It, it, what's happening to Amy? Can you look that up? I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. She had like some sickness. So they kept bringing her from place to place. And it was this odd diagnosis that she had. And no one could pinpoint it. So they just assumed the parents were being abusive. And they basically made a decision, an executive decision, that the parents could not see this kid. And they kept 
them away from her. And the mother was freaking out and freaking out and going. And everything they were doing that was working was no longer working because they said that the parents were abusive. So they took them in a different hospital, John Hopkins, and they kept her there, cut off the parents completely. If they wanted to see them, they could. How did they have the right? I, it's a real thing. You can have the right. You have the fucking right to do it. It is so brutal. I'll yeah, it was in Florida. Take care of Maya. That's it. Um, oh, my God. And let me tell you how long it took her to win that money. Her mother killed herself. Spoiler alert. Awful. Um, but it got that bad that the mother was like, I am abusive. I am crazy. She believed it. And then in the hospital, they basically were like it, there was a photographer coming in to take pictures of her, like to show that she was being abused by the parents. And he was like, take your top off. And she's like, what? And she's like 11, you know, or whatever, 10 or 11. And she's just, you could see her so uncomfortable. She got molested while she was in there. Crazy. Fucking crazy. It's a real thing. And it happens a lot. Because in the documentary, there was people that were showing up. It happened to us. It happened to us. It's this is a real wild. uplifting comedy store. <laughs> Damn, Rick left. And look what I did. It's just wild. I apologize, man. That's not what I, this is about. I'm I know, so but sorry. I have to keep it serious because a lot of kids need to be taken out of the home and they're not. To right? Really sad so it's ends. like, it, it, this, this is the whole world. It's like some things, there's a reason there's certain things in place, right? Yeah. But then people cross the line, taking advantage of those rules. Like they, 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 they it's a slippery slope, if you will, but yeah. they, they teeter right on the edge of what they can and can't do and manipulate it just enough to do the wrong thing instead of what it's really for. Yeah, And that's my stance, people, and that's what I'm running on. That's my gonna, platform. How are we going to get out of Vote this? Vote for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> how are we getting out of this? We're not. Oh, I have a funny story. Wait, the podcast? Oh, yeah. we'll get out. <laughs> I thought you meant life. I was like, it's not ending fast enough for me. Uh, people thought I was dead years ago. I might, might be dead. I could just oh my be God. here. Yesterday what if was... you're talking to a ghost in the basement and I'm in? <laughs> Yesterday I was watching your set or two days ago, Love and Life, laughing. And this guy next to me, I get why he wanted to talk, but he was like, She's the best. I go, she is the best. Ooh. And then he kept talking. He goes, you know, she used to work here. I go, I know. And he just kept trying to talk. And I went about how great you were. And I was like, yeah, let's listen to her. <gasps> and, you know, like, what? Are, if we all are laughing, why would we be talking through... Right. But I think it might have, might have been a friend of yours. <laughs> was it? We'll see. I think so. Wait, was it a girl or a guy? A guy. Oh, because I was here with my friend, Lauren, no, who I used to work but with. But I don't think she would have acted like that. She seems she pretty normal. She might have. No, she's not normal at all. And she waited, <laughs> she waited tables here for like six years. If you talk to her, it was literally six years. And she'll be like, I waited tables here for, for 14 years. And I'm like, no, no, six. And she's like, oh, it was at least eight. And I'm like, no, no, it was six. Like, I know. I remember when you quit. I remember when you started. And so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she just wants a different hysterical. narrative. It's, it's, she's just kooky. You know, one of those people just <laughs> makes up stories. <laughs> she tried to do comedy, and we immediately told her to stop it. And it, because it was bad. You know, Dude, when, I know so many how people you... who are married to or dating comedians, and then they start doing comedy, and it's really uncomfortable. And people think, oh, you... It's insulting and uncomfortable. True. And, like, people say to me, oh, you worked at the comedy store, so you're just watching and thinking, I can do that. That's never the case. I've never, ever thought that. Never in my life. I thought, who would want to be that fucking miserable? Who would ever want to... I was just sitting with a comic upstairs who was talking shit about reality TV, and he was just like, well, they're, they're, these are unwell people. Something's, they're broken. That's what he said. He goes, they're broken. They want to be on TV. And I go, but you want to be on TV. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, but it's different because it's like acting. And I go, no, no, you're no, doing no, stand-up. Yeah. And you want to be on TV as yourself. Yeah. So, and he goes, wow, I have to think about it. Some things. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, you have to go retreat. You think you're more to... normal? Oh my God, my nipple just came out of my bra. What is happening? Is so far, a we've gotten a sneak peek of so many things. We got the Pikachu downstairs and the, this. I do have a silly story. Okay, I want to hear so it. So I'm going to Mexico City Christmas to New Year. Oh, my some... nephew's playing baseball in Mexico. I want to go. You should go. Yeah. 
But um, so I really want to go to the Frida Kahlo house. It's like something okay. that has been important Beautiful. to me for a while. So I go on the website. It says $250. I'm shocked. But I go, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. It's probably small. I got to see this house. So I message the group. I go, listen, I if I want, if you guys don't want to go, I'm happy to go by myself. But sure. $250, Frida's house. They're all like, no. I messaged <laughs> my friend in art. And then she texts me back and she goes, that's pesos. It's $14. And I'm so... <laughs> But That's I why my like, nephew's not t- texting me back. He thinks he's a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. So I, bu- I bought the the whole group. I go, I'll buy all your tickets. It's cheaper than what I thought one ticket was going to be. And I was going to pay it. And my friend goes, yeah, that's not really the Frida Kahlo, like, communist way you know, like, to charge that much. But um, That's great. So I thought that was a nice little story. I so was, you're doing that over the holidays? That's very nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to go home for Thanksgiving, and then I'm going to I'm gonna go to Mexico. I've, yeah. I like it. Disappear. Yeah, for a I like it too. I've I haven't really done a Christmas through New Year's trip ever. Oh, yeah, I usually just stay in Philly. My vacations are all in South Philly. Yeah, you got to see all like how many of you? Fifteen of you? Sure. <laughs> and we just all just sit on the steps, see what's going on. You know, sit on the cold step outside, talk about Cal- the Kelsey people. documentary. <laughs> see, do you remember that parade like when they won the Super Bowl? Yes, I remember. I rushed Broad Street right after they won. I was home. My favorite thing in Philly is that you stole a dead man's art <laughs> after he ple- pleaded not to. Which one? The Barnes. The Barnes Museum. Oh, right. In I, the will, it was like, no museum should have my art. Right. And they, and they were it. like, we're going to put this <laughs> We're going to take it. Listen, we got Rocky and this. So <laughs> we're keeping it. <laughs> but I, yeah, I liked what Kelsey said. Hungry dogs run faster. That, that, now, and he, <laughs> did he mean that we're poor? Like, I never, when he said that, I was like. Oh, I think it's because, mm. I think he meant the underdog in terms he said of some, never winning. Like, they've never had a Super Bowl, right? Wasn't they don't the have breakfast a lot, he said. They don't have breakfast a lot. So That's the dogs. D- but whatever. That we're th- the dogs. Aren't we the dogs, Philadelphia? But I think he meant that it, you're hungry for the Super Bowl more. Yeah. I don't. I hope he wasn't calling everyone. I, the whole time I was like, how does he know about our EBT? What the <laughs> fuck, man? Like, <laughs> I do remember getting like pissed off when he said that. <laughs> but I'm also a Rams fan. Do you think they'll live in Philly other... after they retire? Sure, his wife's from there. Yeah, she's wild too. She curses a lot. I like her. Yeah, I was like, I she can't, every scene that she's with the baby, and she's like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Yes, that's my <laughs> girl right there." But she's a suburb kid. But, but I, we, you know, Taylor Swift. Back to that is from Pennsylvania, and so I think she's like a bot for Pennsylvania to ruin Travis so that we can beat them this time. That's actually the best theory I've no, heard so far. I like it. That's what we're doing. We already said it on our doc, so we predicted it. It's going to happen. Eagles are going to win this year. I'm going to give it to them. Yeah, I hope I want that for Jason. All right. So where can people find you? I'm at Glitter Cheese on the internet. But you Um, also have a great podcast that you guys do. Thank you. It's called That's Messed Up, an SVU podcast. I actually am wearing our, I have my own merch. But love it. um, We talk SVU, true crime. And now that the strike's over, we're going to have actors again. But our listeners, they make us uh, Taylor Swift bracelets, but they say things from SVU. That's amazing. So it's like the the lawyer's names. It says Ice Cold Fact. And this one says Looky Loo. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but we have one that says Mother's Juice because the, there's this one episode where this guy has to, like, help his mom butt chug because she's an opera teacher. <laughs> and so she has to take care of her voice. And she would be yelling, Mother needs her juice. And so someone gave us, like, a Mother's Juice one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's creative. Great. Um, I'm always on the road. Check and her website out. Go see her live. Yeah, I'm in a TV Absolutely show. Absolutely hilarious. Survival of the Thickest. Now that the strike oh, yeah, is Netflix, over. Netflix, right? That's yeah. is that coming back too? I don't know. I hope so. That's good. I would love okay, that. good. Yeah, I'd love that. Um, thank you for dragging me down here. Thank you. It's so hot, and I apologize. And I'm glad that I wasn't shirt. the Debbie Downer. Usually, I bring up fucked up shit, but you really I, hammered I, uh, it home with yeah, the darkness. I, I can't <laughs> wait to see my set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about Maya. 
<laughs> My and agenda the, and the struggles with the foster care system. Yes. <laughs> Tune in next time. Tune in next time and me getting felt up by a photographer, huh? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that shit. And we're going to put more out. Apologize that they're so sporadic, but we'll put more out. Thank you. Love you.